Roll biggity blocks, y'all. Now, my man, Dr. Specimen, as he said, like he didn't know much about Roblox. I can tell y'all, I am a parent of children who play Roblox, multiple children who play Roblox. I even dabble from time to time to laugh, right? So I can tell you Roblox is a place that I am not, like I'm hearing more and more news day by day and I go, yo, my daughter's been in Roblox playing for a while and I'm kind of feeling bad, man. I kind of ain't been doing my duties as a parent, apparently, because, uh, you know, she, the way this looking, man, it's, it's mostly pe Pedialytes out there, man. It's mostly Pedialytes. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of different stats coming out. Apparently, 40% of users are under the age of 13. I'm just saying. If 40% of users are under the age of 13, who do you think they speaking with? Let's get to the segment. So, Roblox, a popular online platform with a very large children user base, is introducing new safety controls starting next month. Users under 13 will need parental permission to access chat features. And players under nine will require approval to access games with moderate violence or crude humor. Additionally, a new parental account type will allow parents to monitor their children's activities, including friends list and gameplay. I would like to ask, where the hell was this at first? You know why? You're coming under hot fire, Roblox. That's why. These changes come on the heels of troubling reports. An investigation that was done by Hindenburg Research, which I actually covered. Shout out to Hindenburg. Can I get a can you dig it, sucker? Can you dig it, dig it, sucker? Good job, Hindenburg Research. Earlier this month, they described Roblox as a Pedialyte hellscape. Bro. Hindenburg Research called them a Pedialyte hellscape. I don't know about y'all. I have a young daughter that plays Roblox. She's been dealing with the Pedialytes, I'm sure. Good thing she's smart. Take her through different scenarios to make sure she's educated to not be swindled by a Pedialyte. But they're grown. So, detailing these cases as Pedialyte hellscapes, where predators allegedly use the platform to interact with young children, and Roblox faced criticism from Bloomberg in July. These allegations from Bloomberg allege that it neglected the proper, uh, proper safety measures and that its young audience were left to fend for themselves. While Roblox dismissed all these reports, the outcry pushed for the platform to make changes. However, these safeguards, just for some reason, have not worked in the past. And Roblox got caught. You got caught, Roblox. They caught your ass, bro. No pun intended, because that's kind of crazy. We're talking about Pedialytes, and I can't mention that. It's kind of crazy. But still, nonetheless, that means that there were a lot of people who were literally going to the game Roblox to speak with people under the age of 13. It was proven. It was proven. There were a lot of conversations being had with people who were above. Now, the thing is, they might not have been, you know, like romantic in nature, right? But you still got somebody who was under the age. Yo, if you got a six-year-old, a seven-year-old, an eight-year-old, how do you feel about them playing? I'll give you a couple examples. How do you feel about them playing Fortnite together? Right? We got some people out there with young sons out there. That young son, nine years old, play with somebody 29 years old. Ain't no thing but a chicken wing on a string. Right? It's Fortnite. How do you feel about your nine-year-old son playing with a nine, uh, 29-year-old man in Brookhaven, role-playing in Roblox. Changes, doesn't it? Hit a little different, don't it? See, it's different when you think about that 29-year-old man coming home from work, letting off some steam, playing Fortnite. But when you think about that 29-year-old man role-playing, which means he's putting his mind state as a certain character in that game, you think different about that 29-year-old. You might think different about your son playing with him. 
That's the question. So, and I want to go to the chat. We got some great chats here. Um, Roblox became aware of brain rot and it wanted to avoid it, but unaware that they're a decade and a half late. Well said. It was Roblox that got my girl afraid of water because she played the games that had water drowning people, but people would break apart. So she was thinking if the water touched her, she would fall apart. Yo, this is real, man. Yo, for the past 18 years, Roblox has allowed preteens to chat with strangers with no restrictions. I repeat, for the past 18 years, you could be a damn adult as long as they had it going on. They've allowed preteens to chat with strangers with no restrictions at all. You can even create a 13 plus account pretty much easily. I know I, I have children. I'm sure they just, oh, I'm, I'm 18. Done. Right. There was no email, phone verification, no age requirement put in place like, you know, a phone. Right. A nine year old probably doesn't have their own phone service. They might have a phone, not their own phone service. These things weren't in place. Roblox, you brucked up. All right. And I'm going to keep it real. Moving forward. I'm so glad that they're making these changes finally. Because Roblox, you have a Pedialyte Haven. Yes, it has been found. Um, we do see creators. You, you see multiple creators who actually role play within Roblox. And that's nothing wrong with that. I don't want to make it seem like any adult who role plays in a game is mental or crazy or off in some way. No. When we play Fortnite and we play Mortal Kombat, we play Street Fighter, we play Call of Duty, we role playing in our heads. We think we're actual soldiers running out there jumping and diving and we really trying to think we these people. Now, we're not going on the mic speaking like we there, right? We're not going around like, hey, I'm a soldier. So maybe occasionally we might get crazy, right? But we're not typically doing that. So role playing does seem to take another lens for me. But there are people who who are mentally not capable of holding conversations with older individuals and role-playing in the game with people who intellect is on the same level works for them. I'm just saying, I'm just saying. Now let's go ahead and move on to our last segment. Nonetheless, we are out of here.